No. There we go. The Gorgons are defeated. I'll make an offering at the altar of Theseus. Good lord. The winch is unblocked. That was the easy. Well, that was the, the hard part. This is the easy bit. You can know. You got to know. Weird. I wonder if that's where Iris comes down from. You got to know what, um, which lights the port, and it's the ones that don't have these brown-looking things. So it's this one. These must be the ropes Iris told me about. The ones that lift the metal panels of her cage, or the ones that destroy the lighthouse. I can't tell which rope is which. Huh? That's it. This. Really? That's it. You have to actually go around them all. That's it. Come on. Keep. Oh. Great, Thomas. One of the panels just raised. Two more, and I can finally escape. Yay. And then this on. one. A second panel has raised, Thomas. One more, and the opening will be big enough for me to escape. It's very elaborate for a lighthouse. Come on. Keep. Thank you, Thomas. It's very elaborate. Thomas, at last. If only you knew how happy I am to see you. I thought I never would. So did I, Iris. I'll never leave you alone. A weird phase. May Osiris protect us both. But tell me, how did you find me? I found your messages in the garden and followed Eros's arrow, and then I used the Helio Lab to meet up with the Queen. I knew you'd come. So, what did Cleopatra say? Well, we struck a deal. I gave her the Enuma Anua Lil tablets, and she told me where you were. So you do have the tablets? Yes, well, no. The Queen's got them now. Did you meet anyone suspicious in the Great Library? Just a few crocodiles and Sobek's guardian. Total nutcase. Why do you ask? Well, my father told our kidnappers he needed the tablets that were hidden in the library just to buy some time. Their leader went straight off to get them. I bet he ended up as lunch for some of those crocodiles. I still can't figure out what they wanted with you. They wanted my father to perform a false divination for Cleopatra, saying the stars demanded her abdication in favor of her brother. And your father refused? Yes. He was a man with principles, not one of those opportunists at the royal court, ready to betray the queen at the drop of a hat. Let's get out of this lighthouse and go and see Cleopatra. Are you crazy? We've got to leave Alexandria. Look around. It's civil war. And without your father, the divination is impossible anyway. Cleopatra will be furious if we show up now. Hello, remember us? I'll perform the divination myself. What? What do you know about the ancient Chaldean practice of royal divinations? You can't bluff your way through. I don't need to. My father may be dead, but I shall continue his life's work. I owe it to him. I can do it! Alexandria is steeped in fire and blood. There's no time for that. We have to leave. We must. Please, let me perform this divination. For the sake of my father. Why me? Okay, if it's that important to you. But how? My father did start to initiate me into the ancient practices of the Chaldeans. I think I'm ready to perform the divination for the Queen. You better be right or the wrath of the Queen will be upon us. You can chicken out if you want. You think I'd leave without you? I'm not afraid of the Queen of Egypt. Let's go. And may Bess have pity on us. Thank you, Thomas. I knew I could count on you. Cleopatra awaits. Let's hurry. The Queen needs her divination. There's a war raging, and we don't want to be late. Wow. Oh, enthusiastic voice of your dad's just died is... Very off-putting. I mean, to be honest, even if she does perform it wrong, who the fuck's gonna know? Cleopatra's not gonna fucking know, is she? Uh, are you absolutely sure the kidnappers left the lighthouse? How come we didn't tell him about Codex or Codex or Codex or whatever his name was? Are you absolutely sure the kidnappers left the lighthouse for good? Those cowards ran away after locking me in the fire chamber. What about the soldiers? They ran away too. <laughs> Let's forget all about that. They have see. to get you out. Just hurry up, Thomas. They might be back. You never know. Their leader scared me half to death. Who was he? A low life from the slums of Alexandria who hangs out with the likes of Ptolemy? I don't know. I didn't see his face. All I know is he was a hunchback. A hunchback? What a coincidence. I just met one of them. 
Then again, Alexandria does have its fair share of hunchbacks. It's all the rage right now. Thomas, do you mind hurrying up? This hunchback is the only one I'm worried about. What, what a surprise. We saw a hunchback in the Grand Library that he didn't tell her about. Could this be a coincidence? Fuck's sake, Thomas. <sighs> oh, and I have a remedy against the plague. You should take some. I don't need it. My kidnappers gave me some of theirs before they left. I'm immune now. Weird. Care for this? I mean, I had to talk to her. But... How exactly do you plan on performing the divination for Cleopatra? Everything is almost ready. I've gathered most of the data I need from helping my father with his research. So what's left to be done? I have to read the tablets and make a few calculations with the instruments from the observatory. That's it? Yes. I can finish the rest in one night. And then we'll be ready for the queen. Only then will we be truly free. Free to go wherever our hearts take us. <laughs> Do you really think Cleopatra is going to let somebody who can give her divination just walk away? Ain't going to happen. No way in hell. Going to lock you up and you're going to be her personal personal slave or whatever the fuck she uses people for. But are you sure you can trust the queen? I bloody don't. What a question. After you, Cleopatra is the person I trust most of all. Wow, you're an idiot, aren't you? Half the kingdom worships her, and the other half despises her. I can't make heads or tails of it. Thomas, why do you always need to understand everything? Queens are like the stars. They have their mysteries. I think I prefer astronomy to astrology. You've read too many Greek theoreticians. They're too rational. Neither the world nor men are so, believe me. It's pointless to go over this again. We've had this talk about a million times. And it's not really the moment to get into a debate. You're right. It's high time we met the Queen of Egypt. I believe some people actually think she's a god. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, ancient Egypt, what were you thinking? Fuck's sake. What will become of us if we can't perform the divination? Why even consider defeat? I prefer to have a backup plan in case the stars aren't on our side. Well, let's just be patient about it and wait for the stars to smile on us again. I hope Cleopatra's patience will rival yours. Everything will go according to plan. The stars protect Egypt and her queen. Let's go now. You're right. Let's go meet with the queen. Let's go. God, she's so chipper, isn't she? After sounding the horn, the sailors came to collect us. And we went to our audience with the queen. Why is the, why is Codex being oh is the voice? I'm not sure what to think, Iris. But Thomas. You're very young to counsel the queen of Egypt. <laughs> Nevertheless, as a token to the memory of your father, I empower you to consult the stars and reveal to me their secrets. Remember that my life and the fate of Egypt are in the balance. Leave now. You speak so fast. It's like the voice actor is timed. Read his lines as fast as you can. Began to decipher the ancient tablets. Back here again. It was just over there. That's the Alexandria lighthouse thing. Isn't that like one of the um, seven wonders of the world or wherever it was? What have we got left? I mean, the game doesn't take shit away from you. You're not going to need this. You're not ever going to need to sieve anything. This is broken, so can't throw it away. It's it's very odd. That's for making um, sacks, which we don't need. We don't even need a fraying instrument. How could there's so much shit in the inventory that I know for a fact we're never going to use? Or will we? Oh, she looks so stern. Hello? I finished reading the Enuma Anu and Lil tablets. My father was right. They were absolutely necessary. So are you almost done? Not yet. I need to do some more calculations after dark, when I can observe some different stars. So be it. A few more hours, and then we can perform the divination for the queen. Yes. Tomorrow, we shall be alive and free. The gods be praised. Thomas, tell me, why is this Kordax here? Why? Well, I could never have reached the lighthouse without him. I'd have died, no question about it. And please, do show some compassion. He's a runaway slave. Your bleeding heart should be more wary. 
I have a bad feeling about him. Okay, so he is kind of eccentric, but I owe him. Eccentric is putting it lightly. Come on, Iris. What did he ever do to you? I think it was him. Thomas, he's the one who killed my father. That's impossible. Kordax helped me. Without him, I'd be dead. Trust me, it's him. But how can you know for sure? You told me your father's killer wore a mask. Yes, he wore a mask. But no mask can hide the deformities of a monster. He's a hunchback. Hunchbacks are like hunchbacks. Why don't you believe me? I saw him kill my father. He is the murderer. Calm down, Iris, I beg of you. If Kordax were the murderer, he would have done something to us by now, don't you think? Thomas? Thomas? You're more stubborn than all the... So be it. You'll see. You'll all see. You always listen to your girlfriend, dude. She's always correct. Always. Even if she's not, she's still correct. Right. Thomas, get over here. I'm next door. Okay, obviously not suspicious, man. Welcome, Thomas of Chaldea. I'm overjoyed you have been reunited with Iris. I bet you are. Cordax. Without your help, I'd have never reached the lighthouse. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. So, what's the plan? Well, Iris has a divination to finish for. For a noble from Alexandria. And then we'll flee this city and its insanity. Oh, he's taking his fingers in his mouth for... Alexandria? How mysterious. I'm afraid I can't tell you any more than that. I hope you understand. Oh, so be it. I can help you escape Alexandria if you want. There are sailors I know who can take you wherever you like. Thank you for the offer, but the time isn't right. What are your plans? With your permission, I shall stay here a few days to tie up some loose ends, and then the gods can send me where they will. Take your time, my friend. May the gods reward you. How is Thomas this dumb? This is obviously the bad guy. <laughs> oh, we're gonna need this. Here's a formula for the fragrance you use to scent water bowls or wash bowls at the palace. We're gonna need that. We need his water. I want. I want to get. The astrology holds a strange fascination for you. He's sticking his fingers yeah, in his astrology, mouth. Astrology, that's not my thing. I prefer to look into the heart of men for the answers I seek. Hey, that's not dark. I don't understand. Oh. What's that? Part of a theatrical. My God. God. That almost looks like the one we've got in our inventory. Right here. These are two halves of the same mask. Holy shit. Uh, can I? Oh no, I guess I can't just use an item on him. That's weird. Let's, uh, let's talk to the iris. Hello. Yes, Thomas? Uh, do you need any help? Do you need help? Fix the Helio Lab if you want something to do. We're going to need it. And if you get bored with that, you could always send your Kordax to Hades. <laughs> Savage. Love her. I'd marry her in a heartbeat. I found part of a theatrical mask at the entrance to the observatory. What? You said the leader of the kidnappers hid his face behind a theatrical mask, right? That's true. But his mask fell and shattered upon the ground. Did you see his face? No. He had his back to me, and the next time I saw him, he was wearing another mask. Well, I found another piece from the shattered mask in the observatory today, but it wasn't there before. They... they came back? Or they visited when we were out. Kordax! It's him! I'm certain of it! Why won't you believe me? I can't believe it. But Thomas, face the facts! Okay, okay. Let me talk to him. Be careful. If talk to him? Kordax is the murderer, then it's Ptolemy who's pulling his strings. Shouldn't we try and run, not talk? If Cordax is the leader of the kidnappers, his men must be patrolling the observatory. May Isis protect us. Wow. How is this main character such a dumbass? 
like, it's obvious, like, Harry Dex is the bad guy. I'm just gonna ask him. Can I speak from the heart, Cordax? Ask what you like, my friend. Did you notice part of the theatrical mask discarded in the room next door? Did I? I'm the one who left it there. What? What do you mean? Uh, how can I put it? Friends that we are, I couldn't quite find the words to tell you. I work for Ptolemy. I was hoping this clue would help you understand. So you did murder Iris's father? I can't believe it! It was an accident. The old fool struggled and I struck a mortal wound with my dagger. I didn't wish for his death, nor do I wish for yours, my friend. Please believe me. But why? Why? You seem to forget a slave must do his master's bidding, and Ptolemy is as impatient as he is merciless. I have no bone to pick with you or Iris, believe me. So you were just going through the motions? The only way I was going to succeed was through deception. And uh, I must admit, I have a certain gift for acting. You could have killed me when we left the library. What stopped you? Are we not friends? Okay, that's weird. So what is it you want then? And cut the pathos. A divination. An itsy bitsy divination. What are you talking about? A divination to forewarn Cleopatra against an alliance with Julius Caesar. That's all? Yes. Then master and slave can live happily ever after. <laughs> See? Simple as that. What if I say no? My men have the garden surrounded. You may leave, but not Iris. My hunting horn will tell them when to lay down their arms. Beware the wrath of the stars. Oh, the wrath of the stars. <laughs> You've obviously never met my master. I need time to think. Well, think quick. I'm not a patient man. What were you doing in the library? Before he died, Akkad spoke of tablets hidden in the library. Important tablets. When I went to look for them, I was accosted by that old Egyptian fool. Why did you help me then? Simple. Only you could find the tablets and drug the crocodiles. And, well, I liked you. Why did you help me free Iris? With her father gone, only she could perform the divination ordered by Cleopatra. Why didn't you take the tablets by force when you left the library? I need the tablets, Iris, and leverage against her. That's where you come in, Thomas. Iris will never perform the divination under those conditions. I know. She's her father's daughter and no mistake. She'd rather die than help Ptolemy. Unless it was your life hanging on the line, my dear friend. Well, at least the, um... At least the told us and didn't bullshit us. Lady Thomas. Cordax confessed everything. It was his men who assaulted you. I suppose he'd still like a false divination, so he can trick Cleopatra. I'm afraid so. And he'll stop at nothing. Well, he can lump it. There's to be no divination, false or true. What do you mean? The observatory instruments aren't accurate enough to perform the divination. You... you can't perform the divination? No. But listen, I think I know what to do. I'm all ears. My father built a secret observatory. I'm hoping that's where we'll find the instruments that will help us to finish the divination. The secret observatory. The day is just full of revelations. And what should we do with Cordax? It's simple. We have to stall him. Murder is us. So where is the secret observatory your father built? I don't have a clue. All I know is that the entrance is inside the mausoleum. But I've never laid eyes on this observatory. Do you know how to get inside? Right before he died, my father told me the medallions on his crown were the key. And the frescoes in the tomb would show the way. Cordax must have them now. So we have to pluck the medallions from the crown. Yes, and figure out how to use them. Uh, Do you have an idea how we can stall Cordax? Let's kill him. Yeah. I must avenge my father's death. But Iris, I've never killed anyone. 
and I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Let's I'm not in the mood for murder. For a while and may the gods have mercy on him. Please, listen to reason. Though I wish for his death with all my heart, I do see your point. We have to incapacitate him for the time being. We need poison. You want to poison him? It'll only put him to sleep. Oh, luckily enough, we have a poison sleepy thing, don't we? So how do you plan on poisoning him? Um, I don't know. What's he doing right now? His routine involves eating fruits, washing his hands, and clipping his nails. I don't see much of an opportunity in all that. I see what you mean. Unless... Yes, it's our last chance. Would you mind letting me in on your plan? I'm having trouble keeping up with you. I am but a man, as you keep reminding me. We poison the water in his wash bowl. When Kordax bites his nails, presto! Be careful, Iris. Double check all your calculations. The Queen will give you one chance, and that's all. Say, it's a good job you're here to remind me. Zero errors or, hello, Anubis, how are you doing? Do you think I don't realize that? Yeah, Thomas. You're such an asshole, isn't he? Oh, remember to do your job properly. Rick. How about it, Cordax? Should I change the water in your wash bowl? It looks kind of murky. Oh, with pleasure, Thomas. I dare not ask it of you after such a confession. It's not easy for a slave to start giving orders. Okay. Uh. Rick. Now it's time to poison his ass. So we've got to go all the way back to our medicine room. It's crocodile, man. Uh, it's off, croc. Oh shit, he's dead! May the gods have mercy on his soul. He knew well enough his time had come. I didn't know he was gonna die that fast. God damn, son, you jinxed yourself. What an idiot. Um. Can I not? Okay. So we can't give him the poison the wash bowl. We have to. We have to use the fragranced thing here to make it smell nice. Uh. I'll also send you a flask of the fragrance already made up. Use it with care. Ingredients used are rare. I don't think, uh, I was hoping I could just put the bowl down there, but I must have to just make the fragrance up. Okay. I'm going to go and write these down. They gave me one second. <laughs> 